Hello? Uh... That was weird, but whatever. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room, over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody, except each other. You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Ugh. Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how- What the fuck? Okay.
I actually need to get my water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh my god, man. It's crazy. This is crazy. Chloe. Whoa! Victoria's Why? right there. Where? Uh, Chloe's dead. It's a dark room. I don't remember anything that happened. I 
hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Oh, shit. Jefferson kidnaps Victoria, too? This is so bad. These straps are hurt. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Shot. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now. I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Let me try this angle. Don't move! Oh. Sir, sir. Sir, this is, this is highly uh, inappropriate. Much better. Thanks, Max. If only no <coughs> one could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows, and an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really oh, should have focused was Mr. on Jefferson, schoolwork, but he was just not using Nathan's detecting phone to text your me. little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid! Bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. I can't. 
can't believe that happened. So sick. Victoria. Hey, Victoria. It's Max. Can you hear me? Max. Oh God. Where, where are we? Oh, what's happening? You've been drugged like Kate and me. Do you remember how you got here? No, I don't know. Wait, you warned me. You warned me about Nathan. Then, then I went to Jefferson for help and he was acting so weird. Oh my God. That's the last thing I remember. And I can't move my hands. Help me, Max. Please, I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Listen carefully. Mark Jefferson kidnapped us. He's using Nathan as well. Jefferson oh is God. very dangerous, so we have to get out of here before he comes back. Max, I just can't believe this is real. I don't want to die like this. I'm only 18. Just hold on, Victoria. Nobody is going to die anymore. Max, what's going on? I thought you said Nathan was dangerous, but it was actually Mark? Mr. Jefferson? I was wrong. I should have known that Nathan couldn't do all this on his own. Do what? What's going to happen to us? Oh, please get us out of here. I'm not going to let that asshole get away with this. I just, I need you to be strong. I can't do this alone. We need to act while we're clear-headed. If he toses us again, we'll forget everything. I'm not strong, Max. Look at me. Look what I did to Kate Marsh. Now she's in the hospital, and I'm here. Kate wants us to get the hell out of here, and then we can both go see her again, okay? I'd do anything. To see Kate once more. Just to tell her I'm sorry. Victoria, we will find a way to escape. I promise. Max, I believe you. Crap. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good, now I can use them. Whoa, I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Please don't hate me. Whoa. Please don't. I I'm me definitely die in more here. awake in this photo. I could try this one. No, that picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. This might work. Please work. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but... She doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, <laughs> Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, 
Some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh, I don't believe in that bullshit. She could have been my masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse... Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Oh my god. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of... Touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? 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 Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe oh and my Rachel God. and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Alone with a heart A battered old heart A heart I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. This is purity personified.
camera is so appealing. You... I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Wait, what? Oh. Wait! Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so uh -huh. much better. <laughs> You're right. You just fell for it. Ah. <laughs> With a heart. Oh. oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, Let's do it. this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm word back. for a wonderful photographic trick. Right back where I started Max. this insane That's week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Oh, well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh, okay then. So, uh, the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes to change time. The winter to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, art world. let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. I have to warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Hey, phone. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Oh. Found you. David Madsen, it's like 8243. For once, David, Warn David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And town fast. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It doesn't matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. 
I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Victoria. It's nice to know how you really feel. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't- You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo, and maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Oh yeah. Yo, he just got he got arrested.
Whoa! Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. She said Wowser again. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. So please don't. Beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. How the hell am I supposed to figure that out? We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited to. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Wait, uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Oh, Christ. Another nosebleed? Max... You're not just screwing around with time. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, 
You're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So <coughs> I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm gonna eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wow, sir, Max. You did it. Somehow. Why, good morning. I went from the dark room Max to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is... weird. Life How is strange. Fun. Yes. <laughs> Warren would definitely go ape over this show. Holy shit. This flyer was designed just for Chloe. I wonder if I'm ready for the mosh pit. But what would I wear? I love how much cool art is going on all over the Bay Area. Unlike Arcadia Bay, some mysteries should stay that way. I wonder how it is to live in a submarine like that. It must the revolution will not be televised. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be- Are you Max more. Caulfield? That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is gonna be worth serious cash. Okay. I know it's kinda simple, but... So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. It's kind of surreal to be here after everything that happened at Blackwell. All the more reason to celebrate your success. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Oh my god. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long. Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson, and he even brought him to Blackwell. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before. You're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. My god. Whatever. Whoa. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Sir. Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. 
or actually do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, very smart. Uh, okay. I guess I have to get used to the idea of fancy food I don't want to eat. How do these galleries afford to rent here? God, you must be the everyday hero from Blackwell. My name is Lauren Francis and I run the media department at Detroit School of Visual Arts. I'd love to talk about- I wonder if I can buy these everyday spring. heroes pictures. Don't say anything to Principal Wells yet. That is different. Loving the retro vibe. Me too. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least, for today. Oh, crap. Young lady, do you have your Flintstones today? Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. Your nose. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe! Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is gonna be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Look at this print. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. We focus on this photo then? We're focusing on this photo now. I just have to make one simple change, so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. Wait, oh crap, do I have to escape Mr. Jefferson again?
Oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, fuck. God, no. I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Pick him in the balls. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Nick, Nick, him anyone? Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh. As if you care. that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck, he no, burned my diary. I always. That's why I'm still here. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week something weird going on with you. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh. Max. It's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please. Don't do this. This final dose won't hurt. Hurt. I promise. Wait, what? This final dose won't hurt. Jesus. David Madsen. He's out cold. Good. I always... No more nosebleeds. Wait. Hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh. You got me, Max. How can I deny that face?
And would you mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. That's a nice trait. And I'm a little bit cuckoo cat girl. Hold it! What? No way, Jefferson. And I promise you. Excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? My God! And I promise you. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. Wait. Rained. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? So what? And I promise you.
No one. on. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'm looking this up.
Oh my god. Okay, well, you said let one last picture. So, okay. Turn the lights off. Wait, why do you keep going through all of them? You're not just going. Just gonna go through, you're just going to go through all the choices just to show them. This doesn't help me at all. Okay. I guess water. I promise. 
This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. David Madsen. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going David, to stop me. Kick that table! Yes, sir. Stop me. Jefferson, it's He's over. He's hiding a gun over there. So... You are not going to stop me. There we go. The cable was the answer. Oh, Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Oh, wait. Max, are you going to take a picture? Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit! No signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Oh my god. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. David? Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I treated Kate like shit. I know she's a good person, but I'm not. I hope I get to tell her that soon. Me too. I think that would make her very happy. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No, I, I should have told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and, and almost used it. I put the school in danger. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys, well... You had each other. We... We are a great team. That's one of my problems. I'm not good at teamwork. Never was. Even in the service. I can't even imagine what you went through. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but... I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, 
but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. We kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. I'll be right back. I'm back. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce uh, I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. Chloe's I dead. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Uh, maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. So, where is Chloe? Oh, crap! David, uh, Chloe is, is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you Yes, I I saw her. I I saw a Jefferson Killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! <laughs> Oh, crap. Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max, 
You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, I... thank you for saving me. Hold tight, David. I'm, I'm going to fix up. everything. Let this be I can't nightmare. believe Jefferson is dead. Damn. Jefferson torched everything. Now the only photo I can get is the one you Warren took. Chloe. Oh, I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. No more fucking guns. So gross. I wonder if he charged that duct tape to Blackwell. All this expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you for the last time. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. I lost again. I always lose. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Nobody will look at Jefferson's work the same. Right under my nose. Jefferson had plenty of women who would have totally posed for him. But he didn't want to give his subjects a choice. Let this be a nightmare. that photo you took last night in the parking lot. Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. It's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, how do I pay all those prices? You have 
one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody use me. Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you, Max. Sorry. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh my god, dude, this is crazy. Are you serious? Sir Matt, hey! Thanks for stopping by. See here, Matt? I think I've been trying to see you. Why is at the two hills tiny? So hurry up! Hey! Is anybody out there? Hey! That guy is trapped! I have to help everybody I can. Death is everywhere. It's following me. Crap. No. No, we're warning you. Evan, did you see that tornado? Get the hell out of here. Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. Look at it! This is the end. You can't take a it's picture when you're now. dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max! You do know things. I'm such an idiot. Only if you don't buy the same spot, tell me you over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to oh, help somebody else. Must be follow him. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Can I save her? Alyssa, 
other people. I've got all those children out there. About everybody is saved, Ashley. I, I can save. I mean, that guy's dead now. Boy, I figured I could probably save him, but I guess I can't. Oh, How can I get out of here? You just entered here. Uh, this makes me so sad. make it out of this, Chloe. Use box. Hey! We the fire. Sorry. He's dead. Electrocuted. Well, can I save him? Fail me, fuse box. Is there anything I can do about this? Damn. I'm stuck here unless I put out this fire first. Well, there's a guy about back there about to get electrocuted. Was there nothing I could do? Is he just gonna have to die? That's unfortunate, dude.
Oh, that's Joyce's diner over there. How do I stop the fire? I start to fire again. I gotta look this up. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> 